for the one that didn't get to catch the first uh, part of the video, but we finna react to Adam about to get his ass whooped at work. Yeah, I already know that ain't nothing new. You know, like I said, I feel like Adam about the only white boy y'all be letting get away with shit, bro. You feel me? Like, I ain't seen nobody check them yet. In my opinion, they might clown the nigga, but they ain't checked them yet, type shit. But, uh, nah, so we got Big Vo TV. <laughs> we about to get into it. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Good XY Big. You already know the vibe, man. We back in the building again. You already know what this is, man. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, you know what it is, man. Security be lurking around here, man. So if they catch you, I don't want you coming back saying good. My bad. I ain't even gonna lie to you, though. I was at work and I had seen your shit, right? Once you had said that, I said, you know what? I ain't even gonna do buddy like that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that subscribe, so. Shit, I'm just gonna look. <laughs> I just had to throw that out there. Like, I ain't just watching your video, ain't, ain't reacting to it, ain't hitting that subscribe, but nah. Let's, let's get into it. I forgot to subscribe. They caught me, yo. Can you like tell them to chill out? Nah, man. Security gonna do what they do. Best advice that you just hit that subscribe button. Don't get caught out there, dog. Cause I can't do nothing for you once security got you, dog. It is what it is. But look, man, we here to talk about Adam 22, aka Adam the 16, man. Got into an argument with Ruger. So Ruger is an artist out of Chicago. Apparently, he started a new group with his guys. Basically, they came on here to promote. But Ruger didn't like a couple of things that Adam did in his previous interviews. Now, if you know how Adam, see, the only reason why I had to go this route. I think it was on um I ain't even gonna lie to you I think it was actually on uh X this morning you feel me but I ain't really get to watch the whole shit and like I said this morning I'm at work and I seen this and I'm like nigga hide behind security don't tell me this nigga was about to get his ass whooped and I caught a little clips of it but I didn't know the dude that was going back and forth with him I ain't know him you feel me so I, I'm like you know what I'm I'm gonna react to this but I'm gonna react to, to somebody that knows the drama because you got some people listen you got some people on this platform, bro. They're going to do their whole life, like, <laughs> trying to figure out shit about celebrities, their whole personal life type shit, whoop de whoop And, well, I try to be the next nigga to try to figure shit out. If I already got a whole bunch of TMV niggas on my shit, you feel me? So, I'm about to just rock with they shit and just, <laughs> but now nah, we're going to see what he's talking about. Adam, Adam is the type of person to just try to get whatever he can get. For clout per se, man, Adam just does what he does. He stirs up controversy. This guy does whatever he can to keep No Jumper relevant. Every month, this Airbnb pays me about $2,700 in semi-passive income. Now, here's the thing. I don't own... I know you need them ads. I know you need them ads, but listen, I'm trying to... Let me get back on that shit. Did I let the man play for right now? <laughs> for a while, we know No Jumper was known for like the antics and just the stupid things that they were doing. Now I think he's trying to get a little bit more serious and try, you know, make it fit, seem like you know No Jumper is a, a organization that uh has some integrity. Is <laughs> that the right word to say? But anyway, in this interview. No, I feel like he tried to make Jumper like the fucking Breakfast Club, you feel me? Because at first, like, whoever he started off, he started off with small niggas, right? And then he finally get, he finally breaks into the mainstream, you feel me? But it's like, in my opinion, I ain't, I didn't really watch too much of No Jumper. I didn't really tune into No Jumper until, like, a lot of, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, come on, you know, everybody find this shit fascinated, fascinated. With all the gang culture and gang violence that was supposed to be going on in in uh twenty uh jump, <laughs> whatever the fuck the nigga shit is called, you feel me? So that when I tuned in a little bit, that's when he had AD um and so on so on. But after a while, I ain't even gonna lie, I just stopped watching it. But it's like every other week or every other month or some shit, this nigga making headline for all the wrong reasons. And I ain't even going to listen. I couldn't be at him. I ain't even going to lie to you. You really think I got the heart to sit here and watch my girl get cracked? Oh, hell no. 
Well, if I commit to that shit, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Call me what you want, nigga. I do not. Boy, who? Who? Yeah, all right. It's the 16 Teamster and Remo, the undercover cop. That's not what we want. Remo, cool. Well, listen, they um basically talk to Ruger, and Adam and Ruger get into an insane argument during this interview, and it just goes left, dog. So let's watch. Tell you some real shit, though, Adam. Okay. My thing is with you, man. Mm. Like even where, where, where we went bad at the moment I did my interview with you, I talked to you before the cameras was even rolling. Mm. I said I ain't even want to talk about that billionaire shit. You feel me? Just off the strength of that's Doug homie. They always when we always. And cahoots with each other, mm -hmm. and I just ain't got time to be, you know what I'm saying, bashing the next motherfucker on the internet or whatever. Then the first thing you started to interview off with was, ah, right, you said you didn't want to talk about the billionaire shit. <laughs> and I literally just told you this, so it's like I speak about it on camera. I but, thought you want, didn't want to talk about Dirk specifically. Even after the interview, I talked to you. I'm like, I don't know. I just you got some nigga that will sit there with you, right? For a nigga that got a platform, they'll sit down with you. You be like, bro, listen, all right, we'll get on this camera. I don't really want to talk about this. I don't really want to bring this situation up. Like, <clears throat> like I just want to keep it to a, like a certain minimum of what I want to say. And then you got them niggas that be like, all right, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you, bet, bet, bet. And as soon as you turn that motherfucking camera on it, guess what this nigga want to talk about? This nigga want to talk about the first shit you just said you don't want to talk about. So now you feeling some type of way inside. And you like, in your mind, you like, well, unless we, what we about to see, I'm pretty sure he, he either stayed, he either stayed in character or, or was out of character. But you just have those kind of niggas that just. We gonna all right, bet yeah. We ain't gonna talk about this, and then they gonna milk it a little bit. You feel me? They gonna find like different conversation throughout the interview, and once they like to them, once they feel like you're a little comfortable, you're a little loose now, and then they try to hit you with that loop and throw that shit at like so. What what, what happened to like you know? And now you're like you nigga. What did I just bro? What? You wanna see the interview before it come out? Cause I ain't got time to be stirring all goofy shit up. I ain't got time for that. But you, literally, any other time I DM you, you hit me back. But this particular time when I'm DMing you, telling you, like, send me the video, the clip, you're not hitting me back. Now you drop it. And you knew I talked to you and you agreed upon this. As a man, when you tell somebody I'm going to do this, you got to stand on it. Where I'm from, so, and you ain't stand on your word. Yeah, I should have been more direct and just up. told you I was going to put it out. Let me, let me keep going. I ain't even done. Oh. Adam sound like a fucking entitled little brat, bro. Like, yeah, you see? Hold on. This shit is, like, shit be, hold on. You tell somebody I'm gonna do this, you gotta stand on it. Well, I'm free, so, and you ain't stand on your word. Yeah, I should have been more direct and hold just up. told you I was gonna put it out. I ain't even gonna lie, that shit would've had me hot. That shit would've had me hot, bro. Like, I'm talking to you, and you could tell when a nigga being nonchalant, and you could tell when a nigga is putting, like, some kind of, how would you say this? Like you talking to a nigga and he just sounds so nonchalant and you like it, what I'm trying to say like in a certain situation you know when you're talking to somebody and you could tell how they feel off you could tell how they feel about the situation just by how they talking to you they like you could just tell by like you know their body language like 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 either they really mean they sincerely sorry or they just don't give a fuck like yeah man you know and I ain't even gonna lie to y'all from the looks of it like just that little just that little shit alone yeah, I guess I should have just told you I was gonna put it out. It basically like just say, yeah, bro, f you. I was gonna put it out regardless, bro. That's why I wasn't. That's why I did not respond back to your shit. Like I get what you said, but I was gonna violate your personal space. Like, your, like you feel me? Like that's basically that's basically what he was trying to like basically what he, like what I'm getting from it. Because if I'm talking to you about something, you just go ahead and be like, well, yeah, I should have told you I was gonna like. Let me, let me keep going. I ain't even done. No, it's like, no, no. and then <laughs> another thing, you want to plan with it, Doug Mama, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck how much you plan. Just don't play with folks, OG. That's the key word right there. The key word right there is playing. Playing, bro. Because a lot of these, like, people, man, they be playing with shit. Like, they be playing with real shit. Like, if there's real shit going on out there, you supposedly tapped into a sense where you know artists out there, you know what the, they've told you, you know the stories they've told you. Stop playing with people, dog. Like, just because you're behind a microphone and you're in the studio and you're doing what you do, that don't mean you got to... But, no. 
on to be real with you, that's where they feel like they could do the most damage. Like you want them to take shit serious. You want them to stop like, bro, this shit is not a game, but just think about it like nigga. Let's just say for example, like he's talking about Mama Duck, right? She's from Chicago. Um, uh, I'm not sure where the fuck um Adam from, but I'm pretty sure that he lived in Los Angeles or LA, whatever. I'm not familiar or whatever. Like he lived there, right? So if you think about it, that's two different that's I'm way over here talking mad junk, bro. Talking mad cash shit. And everybody that don't like it is just either going to get in my inbox, going to get on my comment and just say whatever. Woo -woo -woo. But in the end of the day, guess what? I know for a fact I don't need to go to Chicago. So I would never get caught lacking. I would never I would never get into some shit. So, of course, I would sit here and run my mouth. That's how he sees it. Because just think about it, bro. Do you really feel like Adam would sit here and do some shit like that if Mama Doug or like let's just say Mama Duck or the the people that was associated with Duck were in the same state as Adam. Come on, bro. That nigga would have been that nigga would have been heart pounding, bro. You know it. But it just like they say, computer warriors, nigga. We're not in the same state, nigga. I ain't scared of you. Just making threats over the fucking internet. You that, that that's all you doing. So for them, they're never gonna take shit serious. They're gonna always sit here and clown and play with somebody's top, bro. I be playing with everybody, and that's the that's the problem. Like you know, when you was a kid, you know there was a time for you to play, and you know there was a time when it was time to get serious. Like, come on. I think that was a mutual thing. Her and I had this little flirtatious joke thing going shit. on. Don't I mean, have you seen long. the interview? She's around with me like that, Listen. calling me handsome and all this shit too. It's thing. not just like, but like, you remember that day? We could not believe the way she was flirting Look, with me. At the end of the yeah, day, man. another thing. You play with Wooski, bro. Like, just hit uh, me up. We, 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 I don't care if y'all talk. That ain't that. I got a personal problem with it because mm. it's the principle of you playing with him about him getting shot in the head. That shit ain't no joke. You, do you know that was at my best friend funeral? Yeah. Do you know that that my best friend mama couldn't even bury her son the right way? Now, um, if you don't know, what he's talking about he's talking about Wooski. So Adam made a joke about Wooski. Everybody, if you don't know Wooski, Wooski is another Chicago artist that um got shot actually in the head um you know there was rap that you know mentioned him getting shot in the head and adam i about to know i know i was about to say i know all y'all can't be no damn fast ass reader because i ain't no fast ass reader let me let me let me hold up let me pause this motherfucker real quick You don't have, like, niggas like that you don't have respect for, bro. Like, if they won't respect what the fuck going on in your life and your situation, why the fuck would you respect a nigga like this, bro? Let's be honest. What they call him the 16? It ain't even Adam 22. It's, it's Adam the 16 or some shit, right? Like, come on. But you still got some people kind of support this shit, I'm assuming. Like, granted, some people like all the, neg the negativity and all that shit, but, like, let's be real, bro. There's real shit that's happening every day to somebody. And even, like, let's just be real, right? Let's just say, even if you don't really care about the man almost getting shot, or whatever the case is, like, like you, you don't care. Can you at least act like you do care? Just so, if you act like you do care, it won't be some shit like this, where it's like, oh, nigga, we couldn't even bury him. Like, like, look what kind of shit you done, like, you done put yourself into. 
And to be honest with you, forget that I just said, like, if you can act like you care, nigga, you should have never got yourself involved in whatever the fuck the shit was, because... If something bad happened to this kid, if something bad happened to this guy, all y'all gonna sit here and be like... Basically, like, recited those lyrics. And this is what I mean by, like, you play too much, dog. Like, whatever it is, it's the rap song, whatever, you want to be funny, you want to crack your jokes, this ain't something you play with, dog. Like, you playing stupid games. And we all know what happens when you play stupid games. You win stupid prizes, dog. Mm. Like, the food was complete. Nah, matter of fact, this ain't even him playing stupid game, bro. Well, it is, but in my opinion, I would feel like a dang, well, he, nah, cause he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't live in Chicago. If he did live in Chicago, okay, nigga, you playing a dirty game now. Play a dirty game, win dirty prizes, my boy, or, you know, play dangerous game, <laughs> play dangerous game, win dangerous prizes, you feel me? That's how I see it, because you got some nigga that might really, they gonna really slide for, buddy. So you putting yourself in a dangerous position where you're just talking about somebody else, where somebody that's somebody loved one, brothers, uh, uncle, um, son. You feel me? He over after that. My right. father's running everywhere. My mama was there. My son was there. He wasn't yeah. even six months. For sure, Wooski should have thought about that you, before he started I'm talking shit to me. Because when you start doing battle in hip hop, no. you're gonna use Wooski whatever you got about you. to talk shit. He you did. He started shit with me, so I mentioned bro, something like that. You went on an interview. There's one thing I want to say though, while this is going on. Um, one thing I didn't like about this thing, and, and that's just something that I personally in my personal opinion one thing i didn't like about this thing is rugo was saying what he was saying and he had every right to say what he was saying and get it off his chest but my dog you gotta look that man in the eye when you're talking to him dog look that man in the eye when you're talking to him like he was doing a lot of looking down and looking to the side now that could mean two things it could mean like he was trying not to look him in the eye and maybe get upset and jump off and do something or he just didn't look him in the eye i, I hope it's that he just ain't want to jump off and do something but but people out there, man, when you get in some shit off your chest and you talking and saying what you want to say, look that man in the eye, dog. Because, listen, man, I, I was always taught that. Look that man in the eye and show him you mean business, dog. Like, you got to mean what you say, and that's how you stand on it. Have you guys ever, like, like, in this kind of situation, have you guys ever, like, when you're, like, checking somebody, like, for example, let's just say you, you hot about somebody, right? Like, like either they done some dirt on your name or whatever the case is and like you know how when some people get to talking like nah bro like they go to like just back and forth like this they ain't really looking at you they like they had every like their eyes they were butt on you i honestly feel like in my opinion like i don't know how you tell me how y'all feel doing that stop it doing that to me, I feel like you're really trying to keep your composure. You're really trying to keep your, your composure because if not, you're going to look that person directly in the eye that you're going to go off and just the way their face either look at the time or whatever they're doing, bro. It, like, you just... Incredible Hawk, nigga. You feel me? So, I do understand when you say look somebody in the eye. Like, yeah, we all been taught that. You feel me? But in this kind of situation, what if he ain't want to look buddy in the eye? Because if you would have looked buddy in the eye, he probably would have jumped over that table. Like, just think about it, bro. And I ain't even gonna lie. Just pausing it right here, bro. Just look at this picture real quick. This nigga right here seemed like he listening to the whole conversation, right? Of course, we all listen to the same conversation. We're comprehending it. We're seeing where who's wrong, who's right. Like, you know, what you didn't have no business doing. Adam over here just look like he... Yeah, man. Like, you know, like we could just... <laughs> like, like the, the man don't care. But at the same time, I kind of blame it on you guys for sitting here and giving him content. For sitting here going on his platform. Man, literally watch his girl get cracked. And y'all feel like and y'all really think he cared about basically recited lyrics that you knew was really serious, bro. That like behind the situation. I think you're Listen, you're, you're, you're taking Hold different up. situations and combining right, them yeah. together though. Because that was all about Sean Cotton saying but that he didn't think saying. Cairo had Wooski vibes. Listen, when you do that, you place yourself in street shit. 
Exactly, bro. And I think that's the thing that Adam is missing here. Adam completely misses the fact that when he says certain things, you throwing yourself into the street politics. Like you can't comment and repeat everything you hear. A lot of these dudes, when they be saying certain things in songs, you have a platform, my guy, a platform that a lot of people know about. And you interview a lot of Chicago artists. So you have a platform where when you say something or you repeat a lyric, it almost looks like you're choosing sides. And you could look at it and say, man, you tripping, that's minuscule. But Adam know different. Yeah. Adam know, he know, he know this. You've been in this game long enough to know this, dog. When you say certain things, you look like you choosing a specific side. And that right there is what puts you in the middle of shit and when you get in the middle of shit like that you can't just be like ah oh, my bad and hop out Nick, this ain't drill rap hopscotch you can't just <laughs> jump out of the drill nah stand on business you feel me because them lyrics listen we all know chicago lyrics chicago drill could get real disrespectful dog so if you out there with see but i think it the reason why he does shit like that like <clears throat> Drill already got enough attention as it is. It already draws a lot of people, whatnot, right? And on top of that, with all the negative shit that's going on, too, people sit here and, you know, like, oh my god, did you hear this happen? That happened with you. Woo. So, with a guy like Adam, with his kind of platform that, you know, with his follower base, when he goes and speak about it, he's giving his two cents on which side he's picking. So, I don't know, I ain't, I'm like, one time, I could be wrong, but I, I think there was one time I was, on, I was on Twitter, and shit, I can't even remember how this shit, I think it was something where somebody said, bro, Adam just be throwing his himself in any kind of uh, mix just to be mentioned or just to be irrelevant type shit. So, I feel like this is where it's also going too, like the nigga is, he not, his shit ain't, his, his, his Grinding my, my, my channel ain't really making numbers like that, but we ain't talking about me. His channel is not making that much numbers no more. You feel me? So, of course, he's got to find every and each way to stay relevant. So, that means if I have to speak negative about Chicago rappers, I'm going to do that. If I have to speak negative about Atlanta rapper, Florida rapper, uh, California rapper, that's what he's going to do. <coughs> you feel me? In my opinion. So, I feel like that's why he... That's why he gets himself in some shit. Like, he just don't know when to shut the fuck up. He feels like he needs to always say something. He feels like he needs to insert himself in the mix. Repeating what they saying in these songs, you repeating shit that's dissing somebody's deceased homie. Or some, some shit that really means some shit. And Adam know better, dog. He for sure know better. Right. It get real after that. Okay. Like, for real, gang. Like, like on some real shit. Like, if I would've came in here right now with some... With Four pairs of boxing gloves and set them business on the table right now. Like, come fight me. Right? He ain't really gonna fight you. You would've listened. You could've did that. That nigga would've looked at you. Nah, nah, nah. He would've gave you every excuse in the book. Trust me. He won't box you. It, it don't... Right now, let's go fight. Would you? No, that shit's goofy exactly. as fuck. Exactly. That's... You heard it? That shit is goofy as fuck. So why are you sitting here speaking about all these drill shit then, nigga? This nigga literally said if I came up to if I came up in here with some boxing glove and I tell you let's throw them bitches on, let's go to the back of the building, let's let throw them hands, you said nah, that shit's goofy. Some nigga gonna feel like you done touched their manhood so nigga, uh, let's go. You feel me? But you like no. You the type of you the type that would start all this bullshit and once the once the oven gets a little too hot, nigga, you you ain't staying. That's what I'm telling you. I would have looked at you like you this were doing some I'm stupid ass you. clout shit if you did something like that, when, for sure. It wouldn't be no clout. If he doing some stupid ass clout shit, what are you doing? The same bullshit. But you just have no morals and, and no respect for people. Shit. I'm talking about clout. It gotta be the wildest thing ever, dog. Adam accusing somebody of searching for clout. Gotta Nigga, right? <laughs> no, like that's insane. You ain't gonna post it anyway. But this is what I'm telling you. Don't stop egging it on, gang. You can't be popping shit if you're not ready to fight. A lot of these dudes pop so much shit, but don't be ready to fight because they get to this space where they feel comfortable saying. It.
that they say and then they jump behind security that's like the name of the game at this point jump behind security like get out of your mind <laughs> if you think adam is here responding and now nah, with him saying jump behind security you know um damn i don't know who that one kid is uh Damn, I don't, I don't know who this one kid is, bro. Uh, he, he, he the streamer, right? Um, I don't know. Look, like he had got into an accident not too long ago, or whatever. And as soon as he got into an accident, nigga went straight on live talking about nigga record me, nigga my car. That dude. He reminded me when um at one point when all his content was basically him just going out starting shit with people and as soon as like as soon as they about to go at him here comes security and that's my thing bro like security don't don't like some of y'all some of y'all that do security hey, oh no hold on hold on i might just backtrack because how much we how much how much are you paying me how much Isn't that don't don't some of y'all security feel like like why the hell am I even protecting this little nigga? Why the hell am I even doing this? Like some of y'all security don't feel like the need like this nigga really doing some dumb shit that like I ain't gonna lie like imagine imagine like I'm talking to the security people. Imagine you are the regular civilian walking the streets or whatever and whatever that kid named Jack. I think his name is Jack if I'm not mistaken. And he comes and starts doing some goofy shit or whatever, right? You don't let him beat his ass up. But he's gonna have security. So guess what you gonna have to do? You gonna have to fight security. Like don't y'all feel like what like why would I do that? Like you go out and start all this bullshit and hide behind your security, bro. And I feel like I feel like security should have a policy, bro. Like, listen, if you go out just to go hang out, you're not starting nothing, you're not doing nothing, you ain't on no riffraff, I got you 100%. Like, ain't nobody finna touch you. But the minute you go out and start doing some bullshit, you wanna, you, you wanna start huffing and puffing your chest, and like, you the king of the world. Listen, that's when you on your own, gang. I'm not protecting you. Straight up. Talking back like this. Without security in the back. Wait, out of your mind if you think it's just Adam talking right now. Adam feels a certain type of comfort because he has security around. All these guys do it. It's the same reason why Aiden Ross did what he did. He popped his shit and then he was like, I'm gonna have my security dude. And that shit is lame as hell. Like that. Yeah. Did. He popped oh, around. No, my bad, I'll do it. The same reason why Aiden Ross did what he did. He yep. Popped his shit and then he was like, I'm gonna have my security dude. That's that that's the shit, bro. That's the shit. And for like, okay, it's one thing if you mind your business, you ain't doing a goddamn thing, like you ain't bothering nobody, and then somebody actually slid in your lane, and somebody that should like that's bugging you, and you ain't really built like that. I feel like that's where you can at least have a little bit of like. Nigga, I'm not worrying about it. Like, you keep talking about you gon' you gonna slap me, nigga. You ain't slapping me, my my boy. Like, you know I keep about four securities with me, so good luck trying to get to them security, bro. Like, I feel like you could have just kept it simple like that, but that nigga said, when I see you, I'ma slap you. And then when the bad child, well, I ain't gonna slap you, my security gonna slap you. Like, security. That's what I'm talking about, dog. <laughs> like And when A D responded to that situation, I had heard about that, and I'm just like Security go down every day, B. Shit. That shit is lame as hell. Like at the end of the day, as a man, you gotta stand on business, bro. If you talking shit in a certain way, you gotta answer for the shit you talking shit about. Just saying. Like if you ain't literally just willing to fight, why do I you think that? About, why do I need up. to be on board I'm not with even, listen, fighting? Like listen, I've never said I was a boxer. I'm not even, why do I need to be a boxer listen, all of when a you sudden? Got on that in the oh. <laughs> I can't stand motherfuckers like this. That would like, like you're trying to use a fucking scenario. You're trying to use something to to basically give them the picture that you're fucking trying to paint. But they're gonna turn around and then try to use the picture that you're painting to be like, just like he said. He literally said, if I came into, if I came in here with some boxing gloves, threw it on the table, and told you let's go at it. You said that's goofy shit. That's some cl that's some that's some uh clout chasing shit, right? <coughs> Right, you say all that, 
And why do you turn around and be like, oh, well, I'm not a boxer, so I wouldn't go do it. Like, ain't nobody saying that you are a boxer. Half the people that do boxing now are than boxers. Nigga, they just picked up boxing love and started going at it. So, like, hate me if y'all want, but I think he should have just got his ass whooped. No cap, bro. <laughs> See that narrative right there? Because you fighting, you got that means you got to be a boxer. It ain't about being a boxer. Bro. It's about you talking shit, involving yourself in shit that you should not be involving yourself in, and then trying to backtrack and be like, oh, I'm not a boxer. It's the same shit that academics does when he talks his shit. He goes, Well, I'm not a gangster. I just take my security. So stay out of gangster shit. <laughs> it's it's that easy, bro. It ain't that hard. It ain't rocket science, dog. And then you said Ruga bitch, acting like a bitch. Them fighting words to me. We don't play about that shit. Now I could come in here and really get on bullshit. You see what I'm saying? We don't play about certain shit. And you gotta understand when you step in that field, you gotta accept everything that come with it. Now I wanna turn this button off. Um, I don't wanna do this, but no. Nah. You forgetting the other shit that come with it. Do I seem like I'm worried about that? At the end of the day, guys. Do I seem like I'm worried about any other shit? Listen, like, there's a lot of threats. Said, there's a lot of ideas. Me, I'm just, chilling. You just sat here and said, if I asked you with the boxer gloves to fight, you said you would not do it. Right, because so I'm not about, a boxer. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dog, is he a boxer? I don't think he a boxer either, dog. So what are we talking about here? Like, this is what I mean, man. People pick and choose their battles, dog. And a lot of people, they throw rocks and they hide. <laughs> <laughs> item is the number one culprit for shit like that. The number one culprit. It's like people just want to do shit without any consequences. Like, when it's time to stand on business, you got to stand on business. If you're not about that and you're not ready for that, don't talk the way you talk, dog. And don't involve yourself in shit that will get you those consequences, dog. That's all. That's all. It's like if you don't want to go to jail and you know you can't do jail, you can't survive in jail, nigga, don't do crime. That's all it is, bro. It's not Everybody knows that concept, dog. You know that. If you can't cook, my nigga, don't go buy no fucking ingredients. <laughs> Don't do it, dog. Don't go buy shit to cook, man. Like, come on, man. Don't act stupid out here. Don't play with me, cause my 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 name, Young Chef, ain't um <laughs> my name, Young Chef, ain't for a reason. It ain't for no reason now. Don't play with it. The young Chef do know how to. All right, now they if Young Chef for a reason, nigga. Cause you worried about getting knocked the f out? No, cause I'm. Mm. Take <laughs> yes. Against. Goofy ass clout shenanigans coming from Adam. Very rich, bro. This is the same. You know why he's talking like that? Okay, like. <sighs> My bad. This guy right here, right? I'm not sure if he came with them. Like all well, well. Unless I'm wrong, the nigga that be doing the interview in twenty and or whatever this shit is, right? They always sit on this side, right? Right where Adam is at, right? So I would assume this is his security. And on top of that, even though we can't see behind the camera, do you know he got probably like what three more securities in the back, four more securities in the back, and he's already paid. Listen, they're already paid. Regardless, what's finna go down? It's not finna go down. You feel me? So, of course, now Adam finna get the talking sweet. You ain't finna touch him. And this ain't me laughing like, nigga, you can't do nothing about it. You gotta know when somebody act in a certain way for a reason. It's like playing Uno. You feel me? The game been going on for a while now. And it gets to that one person when that one person put that last card right. Bam! Uno, nigga. You feel me? Like, oh. He think he finna get that uno. He think he finna get that uno. Now you act now. You and know you and your mind know. Once it comes to you, you got about two draw fours, maybe like three reverse. <laughs> you feel me? Like you got some cards. Like you got some good hand. So when it comes to that, so now you now you you got a smile on your face all of a sudden. Now everybody like why he? You feel me? So now you talk about oh so. Yeah, Uno over there. You said Uno, right? That's what you said, right? Well, and nigga, mom, go ahead and draw that four. Mom, go ahead and draw that eight. You feel me? Like, like, you get cocky when you know you have something in your hand. Or in your back pocket, or I should say, or whatever the case is. But that's what I'm getting from Adam in this interview. Like, bro, yeah, I said all that shit on, on social media. I get it that you're in my, you're in my present, you're in my, uh... 
in my workspace type shit. You feel me? I, I understand that, but I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. As much as you want to feed me, kind of like oh. My bad, I ain't finna give you that, my bad, cause I already know, once it gets a little rowdy in here, once you wanna go ahead and jump up and act like you finna do something, secu my security's finna come handle you, bro, I ain't finna do that. It's a setup. Like, that's what I just get from it. This shit is a setup. A nigga that's finna go on, on, um, that's finna invite you on they, 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 um, they platform. After you don't tell them not to speak about something, they gonna speak about it. And once you get all loud, let's just say you can't control your emotion, you get big and you wanna flip the table and jump over and, 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 and put hands on him, his security gonna step in. So that's why I feel like they get to acting like that. Same guy who pretended or not that he was uh you know going the other way for clout. That's the troll. No way. Yo I forgot about that. The game. You're not ready for it. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Adam, Adam saying anything about clout is insane, bro. Diabolical, wild, out of this world. There wouldn't be no clout shit, you know why? Yes, it we is. We wouldn't have no cameras rolling. Challenging a non-boxer to a boxing match when I've never said or done no, anything I ain't that never suggested been in no that I wanted to be a boxer. Neither. What the f*** is so different about me and you? You older than me. Okay. What the f*** is so different? I'm going to pull up to do an interview with you, and I'm going to bring a snowboard. And we're going to so have a different? contest. Who's the best snowboarder? Because that's different? exactly as logical as you decide. Man, you guys no the fuck it I'm telling y'all man it's either two things it's either he don't want to steal off on Adam but he not making no eye contact bro I feel like that's what it is alright he ain't making no eye contact just imagine if he really making that eye contact he might really jump over there and ah, you feel me I mean looking down at the table he probably just don't want to steal off on Adam bro I ain't gonna lie. that could be it deciding that I should be a boxer now. bro you just dropped a diss on to people and you was trash as hell. What? At the end of the day, you that might have been the first person I heard that say that. Shit. This is what I'm telling you. I heard a lot of people say they think I'm nicer on the mic than you are. I put my bitch on the rag. It was a crime scene. I see my ops cup. It was lime green. I'm going to keep it real, bro. That shit was ass. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. This is what, what? At the end of the day, you might have been the rap person. I ain't even know they think it did a rap video. Hold on. Say they think I'm nicer on the mic than you are. I put my bitch on the rag. It was a crime scene. I see my ops cup. It was lime green. I'm going to keep it real, bro. That shit was ass. What? Was ass. <laughs> that was my first song. But I think I snapped. All right, make it your last, man. No. Any nigga that dropped a fucking bar that dropped their first song gonna think they snapped, nigga. You could be in the room by your damn self listening to a beat, nigga. You gonna think that's about the hardest verse you said, nigga. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, nigga. I get, listen, whenever I get too damn high and I get like, when I get too damn high, shit, let me hear a little beat for a little bit. Mm. You feel me? I mean, nigga, nigga, I just had the hardest verse of 2024, nigga. What you talk about, nigga? We got more. <laughs> we got I another heard. one that'll probably be out by the time this comes out. All right, that's cool. Keep doing what you're doing. I hope you're making your rap career. But look, stop playing with people if you're not ready for the outcome that come with the shit. Bro. Why do you think I'm not ready? Because you're not. You just sat here and said you wouldn't even fight. So yeah. you're not ready. That's what I'm telling you. Being not. ready is not the same as having to take part in goofy-ass crowd shenanigans. That's real shit. Air nigga tell you in Cali, what they say, we run a phase around. They run phase around this bitch. You hanging out with the wrong guys in Cali. Exactly. But they don't run phase in Cali? Not a lot. Not Whatever a lot. going on, we fight. Where we from, nigga? Chicago? At the end of the day, if a motherfucker... At, you, Chicago this fight, is like very you, different than everything I've been led to shit, believe about Chicago. Really, I'm going to tell you some real shit. That's really like what I'm actually telling you. Fight. Niggas really kill motherfuckers in Chicago. You should kill That's me. That's what they do. Grade A gaslighting, bro. Adam is the worst. I was just about to say that, bro. At this point, ain't nothing serious coming out of that nigga's mouth, bro. Like, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. I would have like, you know what? Bro, forget you and forget the, the, forget the enemy, bro. I'm out. Don't, like. I don't know, bro. But I wouldn't. I would not. Just by the way he's acting, 
just the way that he he's talking, bro, he would have made my skin crawl, bro. He would have made me flip. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And I'm pretty sure some people gonna be in the comment. Well, shit, that's what you get. He you gonna let him get you out of character. You doing shit to get people out of character, and you know everybody in the world wants to see people react. Bro, he's the worst kind, bro. Adam is so snaky and snakish, bro. As far as what I know of him online, because obviously I don't know him personally. But Me as far neither. as what I see online, neither. bro, Adam just seemed like the snakiest of the snakes, bro. Come on, man. Like, you know what the guy is saying. You know what he's saying. But you so stuck up your own ass, you can never admit when you're wrong, dog. You can never just... Let it go and let it leak, dog. Like, you could easily just be like, my bad, let the man get his shit off because you know at the end of the day, you was wrong. You was wrong for saying the stuff that you said. The problem is you are Adam22, a.k.a. Adam16. You are on a platform that a lot of people listen to. You're reciting the lyrics of someone who's dissing one of his homies. Throwing yourself in the middle and then you're trying to jump out when shit get hot. Don't work like that, dog. I love but what I'm him. telling you is somebody just shoot me. For but what sure. I'm telling you is, Adam. Yeah. You're gonna get stuck one day if you keep tweaking with people. I'm telling you, bro. I'm gonna be real. It's not gonna be a good outcome. The for threats, you. the like vague, like oh something's gonna ain't happen to you. Ain't nobody threatening you. The 22 star ain't pressed. I'm Trust telling you. Me. <laughs> I ain't threatening you. I'm good. And that's the security <laughs> presence right there talking. Yep. 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 Sounds like a threat. You, Sounds like you're trying to threaten me. How much you want to bet if Adam had no in, no security at all, no security whatsoever, right? He would not be talking like this. He would not be talking like this. In my opinion, he would not be talking like this. I feel like if he didn't have security, someone that could back him up, I feel like he would probably really sit there and speak humble with you. You feel me? But it's just the fact that he knows this what draws attention. This what draws the views and all that. So he gonna act out he, with no cares in the world. And even if you want to do something, like I said, you gotta get through his security. At the end of the day, I'm telling I'm not you as a real. I'm telling you as a man, nigga. Right. You gonna get up out here playing? Okay. Remo, no, he, he over there looking like. <laughs> he know. Look at him. Like, I, I Remo, you know. I'm with whatever I get up. myself into. <laughs> you know when you got that one nigga that just on the side quiet for too long. Listen, I've been waiting for that nigga to say something, bro. I don't even know who he is. I don't know. But nah, you, <laughs> you know when you get to the point where you really want to beat somebody bad, and you even throwing the man, the man, the man friend in there too. Like, bro, listen, I beat your ass. <laughs> I beat your ass. All right? Like, you said that you ain't playing nothing, and like, I ain't playing nothing because I'm trying to do what y'all gonna do. Like, <laughs> the lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> no, you are not, bro. <laughs> no, you are not. You're literally saying. <laughs> that you don't want to get into no clout and then the man just said if you want to fight go fight how are you for whatever you get yourself into that shit does not make any sense dog these guys they jump in shit and backpedal jump in backpedal you cannot do that dog that's not how life works they're trying to create this lane where you can just talk shit say whatever you want and hide behind security but listen you not because you said you wouldn't even fight a person you that's talk, goofy as you fuck you talking about some clout oh listen, i'm gonna give you boxing you gloves real, like Okay, I know this might not be the same scenario, right? Because, you know, we all, <clears throat> I'm a freaky ass nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I seen the video, I ain't watched the full video, but I seen the video a little bit, if he hit me, I was a little curious, you know, curious and kill the cat, but, um, <laughs> nah, on some real shit though, right? So, you saying throwing some boxing glove is some goofy shit, right? That's some goofy shit. Like I ain't gonna put no boxing glove on. I ain't finna I ain't finna throw hands with you. That's just some goofy shit. Now, let's just be real, right? For example. Just an example. Let's say you got a daughter, she's about like 17, 18. Right? No, I'm gonna say 18, because you don't wanna be no pedal. I'm gonna say she's about 18 or whatever. You feel me? You out with your daughter and you out with your girl. You feel me? And y'all know some of y'all probably seen this meme before or whatever. If a nigga come up behind you, well not behind you, but behind your girl and, and your daughter, slap both of their asses. 
and pimp off. You just finna watch him walk? I don't give a damn if I don't win the fight, nigga. I'm finna put some respect on Listen, what? I was always told, listen, it's better to fight. It's better to fight and not fight. Because at the end of the day, when you don't fight, you, listen, it's like, it's like being in school. You get me? Like, yes, I'm, you might be scared. But just think about it. If you don't ever fight this kid and he keeps calling you out, you keep backing out. You go to school the next day, bro. You scared. You scared. You feel me? That's all you're going to hear. So you telling me that if a nigga came up and slapped your girl and your daughter, you just going to let it slide. You ain't going to do shit about it. You you ain't, ain't nothing. Nah. That That's like, what are you there for then, bro? Like Seriously. that's some goofy ass clout shit, and you know it. You know it. Really <laughs> Adam talking about goofy clout shit is just beyond me, bro. I can't get over that. I but never listen, signed up to be a fighter. At the end of the day, so if somebody starts you ain't telling me like, to be oh, a rapper neither, you're, you're not a great, you yes, I did. No, song. I literally did. I made a song. Trash. That was me signing up. It was when I made the song. That shit was trash. Might fuck a trans just to see what the hype about. I had to go and look at the one. You want to play? Let's play. <laughs> I'm not willing to you take soft. people and let them convince me that I need to fight to can, defend my can, man. You can try to convince people that you tough and you this and that. When have I but ever I'm acted like you, I was tough? On some real shit. Just speaking on street shit to get you up. I'm telling okay. you that. I'm just going to let you know I'm good I, with the vague threats. You ain't. Yes. You ain't. You Unless you're going to do something, you wouldn't be. I don't want to hear it. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Unless you gonna do something, I don't wanna hear it. Adam, that's not Who that one video where that dude said, boy, listen, ain't nothing but ain't nothing but space space and air between us and I done fucked all that up. What you gonna do? Not even how you talk. <laughs> really, really trying to cosplay right now, bro. When do you ever talk like that, bro? This <laughs> is Adam poking his chest out. But listen, when you got security next to you in your space, in your studio, and you know you had these guys come in without the blicks, without the huge entourages, you have these guys come in in a comfortable space where you're comfortable at. This is why you talk like this, bro. Yep. You know, you're in a controlled environment. That's why you. Imagine if some of these niggas had their own podcast in Chicago, which I'm pretty sure a lot of niggas got their own podcast in Chicago. But what I'm saying is to the niggas that be coming onto his platform, right? Imagine if they had their own. Unless y'all tell me if some of them do have their own podcast. I'm not sure, right? But imagine if some of like, for example, let's take Buddy, right? Let's just say he has his own um, platform. And he goes and invite Adam to come to Chicago so we can talk, you know, like let's have an interview or whatever. And let's just say for example and I I know I'm about to say for an example and for some odd reason the way he's acting I feel like he won't do it, right? I feel like for one, if he goes to Chicago to do the the interview, he's gonna go with security. And if they're like, nah, nah, you can't have your security come in here, it's just, it's just gonna be us three, us four, whatever one, you know, security. We ain't even got security. So what you need security for, right? Adam ain't gonna do the interview. In my opinion, I feel like he won't do the interview. But the fact that he's in his home turf, he got home full advantage. So of course he's gonna speak a little spicy, you feel me? I feel like you can talk this way. All right, then, shut the <laughs> Then why are you on the Stop podcast? Talking. Stop talking. You don't get to tell me to shut the up on my listen, podcast. If this I was is a, if my I was podcast out, that you were very upset on this bitch, when I told you you yeah. weren't in that's how you know motherfuckers are fed when they start talking and you start going like this. You can't come on my podcast <laughs> talking shit, okay? This is my podcast. Ooh. I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> I add him a gangster and appalled at the same time. <laughs> Pick a side, man. And see that I don't want to hear none of that. Or I would not like to hear any of that, sir. I would not. Say I hit him in his mouth. What are you going to do? What do you think? Damn, he go. He going to try to sue. He gonna be one of them soft ass, soft ass. How people. am I gonna sue you when I got way more soft. money than you? Cause you That's soft. That's not usually how it works. Cause you soft. So you telling me if y'all correct me if I'm wrong, why would I sue you if I have more money than you? Why would I sue you if I have more money than you?
unless she trying to say, why would I sue you if I had more money than you, nigga? I could just get your ass whooped. We got security in the corner, nigga. I'm gonna let them pop, 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 pop. You feel me? I feel like that's what he 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 been for, like he been he been like he's interpreting. You feel me? Because don't motherfucker that got money still be saying motherfucker that got money or don't got money? Come on now. What? If I hit you in your mouth, you ain't gonna sue me. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's sitting right now watching this. Like, please do it. Adam face has been punched eligible for. <laughs> Bro, I ain't even see his man. Nah, no, 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 no. It's his man right here for me, bro. It's his face right here. Look. You wanna do it? You ain't wanna do it. You ain't wanna do it. <laughs> That's what I felt like. For a very long time right now. It is punch ready. Like, that jawline right there is ready for a right hook any moment right now. Who you fighting? I'm, I'm telling y'all, it, it's it's overdue. This shit is overdue. I don't need to sue you. You ain't answering my question. Am I gonna sue you? Why would I sue somebody that I have way more money than? If I hit you in your mouth, then what? I feel like that would really betray the fact that you told Remo that you... You hit him in his mouth. He's probably gonna call the cops. Press charges on you, right? So now you gotta go to a fucking... What? Ag uh, battery? Aggravation or something like that? Um... Yeah, alright. Maybe he won't, like, he won't sue you, buddy. He's just gonna press charges, you feel me? He's just gonna pull that whole card. You didn't have a problem with me and really just wanted At to talk the on day, the podcast. The principle, I'm telling you something. You need to learn something. So some, you're scared of getting sued You need to learn now? something from another grown man. You want me to do it? Sure. If I hit hey, you, go crazy. Hey, hey. Move that cup to the side. Move that cup to the side. When you move that cup to the side, you getting ready for something. Adam know the cue. That's why Adam looking at his security right now. <laughs> I ain't even see that, <laughs> bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Now that you put, now that you point that out to me, right? Now, now that you point that out, what does this nigga really do? Got fucking like uh secret codes for his security. Like, listen, when things start getting out of hand, just I'm gonna give you this look. I'm gonna give you this look, right? Let me just like this. Listen, I ain't gonna. I might, I might, I might just blink twice, okay? I might, just, you know, my, my eye look like they might have a, 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 a twitch attack, a twitch attack, a panic attack or some shit, you feel me? But after, all right, all right, I need you to come ASAP, listen, what that nigga say, come, come. What else is he here for? See, exactly. So it's like, what else is he here for? AKA, like, I'm not standing on business. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to let you do what you do and security going to come. I think the first time Adam been in some type of question. Question. Doesn't that still make you. Doesn't that still basically say that you soft, sweet, whatever the case is, because you have somebody that's. Dead ass is disrespecting you, dead in your face, right? For example, let's just say you, like you say, you got more money than him. This is your platform. If you guys do fight right now, what's gonna happen? Ain't shit gonna happen. Just two niggas done. Listen, it's gonna be two grown guys boxing it out, whatever the case is, and going about their business, right? But you won't take that L. You are not gonna take that embarrassment. Because. The fight, some type of altercation, and ran behind it. Oh. Happened just because. Oh. Happened just because. Oh. Happened just because. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about this one too. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> you bringing back some 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 old memories there, uh, um, Big Zo. Behind it. Oh. Happened just because. Oh. Happened. Hit <laughs> that. Nigga, don't flinch. I said, don't flinch. If you get injured in an accident, even if it's just a passing, no one knows this, but you can turn that accident. Oh, I hear it, bro. I hear it. Not here.
How much y'all want to bet? I don't know who's holding him back, but if he wasn't holding him back, Adam would not be standing right there, bro. I'm telling you that. Adam would have been backing up. Adam probably would have ran for his life. And I know how some of y'all going to be like, well, how do you know, nigga? You probably, no, bro. No, 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 no. Trust me. We know. We know. I'm going to just play it back, like, bit by bit for you guys, right? Just, just, just hear me out. First time Adam been in some type of fight, some type of altercation, and ran behind it. It happened just because. Okay, right here. It happened just because. You flinch. That's strike one. You flinch, right? You flinch. It's okay. I get it. <laughs> some people go flinch. Don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scary. If you make me flinch, I'm swinging, bro. Cause I don't listen. I don't do them flinching game. You feel me? I grew up. You flinch, nigga. You you get hit twice. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared. You make me flinch. I'm swinging. I'm sorry. I'm swinging. But um, no. It's okay to flinch. That's all I'm saying, right? It's okay to flinch. Once he flinch. Look at that. Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, oh. You feel me? You can do that. You can do that. You block, block the whatever from hitting you. Not a problem, right? And then once you, once, once you throw that out the way, that's where you should have like, come on, bro. That's at right there. Like, look where. Unless you're telling me Adam is finna go around the table to go into him, like into his shit. You feel me? But at that very moment, I feel like that's where he should have stand on business, and he didn't. So, like, come on, the man threw a whole drink at you, right? And you know, you got some of these motherfucking podcast celebrities gonna talk about. You know how much I spent on this jack, like. So I know some of your clothes ain't cheap, but you really gonna tell me this nigga threw a whole drink at you, bro? And it's just, let me just take this, this jacket off, and <laughs> I would get ready to throw it away anyway. Look, see? Adam is not about this shit, but he talks to shit like he's ready for this shit. And it's because of security. And I get it. Like I said, he's in his own space. He's in a controlled environment, and this is why he does what he does. Go come in with his gun. Why else is he here? Right, well, see, look, look. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Ball, you come so in with his gun. If you were really on some tough shit, you wouldn't care about that, right? Listen, you. I don't put myself. <laughs> Bro, just get up and walk out. Just get up and walk out. Just. Adam. I don't laugh whenever a black guy dies, straight up. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care if I sound racist. Straight up. Anytime a black guy dies, I feel like Adam find that shit funny. Well, I mean, this is the reason why he's in this situation now. But the simple fact that you, that this nigga said, Yo, the kid gonna lose his gun? Why else is he here? If you are real, if you are real what you call it, if you are real in or whatever the case is, you wouldn't worry about that. Nigga, what? So technically what I'm trying to, what he's trying to say is, I want you to crash out. Crash the fuck out so my security can go ahead and do what he got to do. I mean, to I also I've never see. came on here and told I, I am no the best fighter. When you. have I ever came on the podcast and said, oh, I'm the toughest? It's the That's not the point. The point he's trying to make here is that you were involving yourself in shit you shouldn't involve yourself in. There's certain things you say as a man that you say about other people to other people that there's consequences for. And you can't keep jumping out and making an excuse that I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a boxer. That's not how life works, dog. I just spoke on my homie. Your Ford, example you spoke on that is shit basically like telling that shit me that even Stop though Wooski dissed me At and talked shit to me first, that I shouldn't Man, be able to talk back shit. to him in you response. You did that shit. You throw the rock and you hide your hand. That's not true. That's what he the threw the rock. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Alright, my bad, I thought I... Uh...
Good dude. You ain't ready for what come with it. Leave that stupid shit alone. I'm ready. For real. I'm you good. Because you're not even ready to fight. I want to have a snowboarding bro. competition. Bro. It's no, exactly the same thing. Just say you scared. Just say you scared. Do it. I'm not a fighter. No, if you do this. Just say you scared. There's a reason I move around the way that I do. So it's because I I'm don't want you. someone like you to if try to you think know, that you can bully me. If you said the reason why you move, why you move, because you don't want to to fuck you up, right? Well, of course. So why the fuck is you doing the shit you doing? All the threats in the world don't mean shit to me. You got to do it. You contradicting yourself. You got to do it. Security is like what Henny is to academics. Like, it gives you courage to see the most wild Atlantic shit. Security is like what Henny is to academics, dog. Insane. I ain't even going to embarrass myself on this podcast and bust off your ass. Hey, yo. I don't even know but why listen, you think you could come on listen, my podcast and talk shit to me like this. Yeah, when hey, you're obviously not going to do shit. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you're going to have... They go Adam people, the security. I got armed security. I'm telling y'all, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Obviously that not going to do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, Listen, you're going to have... They go Adam people, the security. Adam got armed security. I'm telling y'all, man. This is why he talks the way he talks. Because one, he got security there, and he know he behind the table. He got time to run to the back. Hey, hi, you separated by the table. I guarantee you if Adam was next to him right now, he probably wouldn't be talking that shit. Adam yeah, really does not want to get punched in the face. Uh, I'm sure. listen, You're going to have to be polite if you want to stay on listen, this podcast. Listen, can we talk about this podcast? Nah, hold on. Then why did you beg? I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't even going to lie to you. Now, I'm, I'm, I want to figure out. Why do Buddy all of a sudden now feel like he 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 should jump in? Now, why do he feel like he needs to start saying something? Because the whole time when you should have been saying something, you never said nothing. You sat there the whole time quiet than a mother. Like, what? Like, now you want to start talking, bro? Man. <laughs> I ain't even going to lie. Call me petty, bro. Call me petty. I would have stole on Buddy with the hat. Even I know I can't get to Adam, bro. Just due to the fact that Buddy want to go ahead. And, hey, hey, hey. I'm a... to come on here. To be honest, I really want to come here and beat your ass. Yeah, but you're not. You want to go box? Let's go get your face. Man, again, I don't want to box. All right, listen. <laughs> I'm not even going to throw a real nigga, bro. Um. I don't know what you call it, but I'm going to just say a person that's not going to be like, you know what, bro, you are not finna sit here and think you can punk me. You are not finna sit here and do whatever. Like, bro, you like, <clears throat> like, I get it when they say sometimes you got to really back somebody into a corner to make them show you their hands or whatever the case is. But in all reality, we can already see Adam's hand, bro. We know he ain't built like that. We know that. But I'm just saying due to the fact the way... Like the energy in the room is going, and you know somebody got some animosity, some type of whatever the case is. And bro, if you ask me, it's just boxing glove. You gonna feel a couple of hits, but it's still boxing glove. So why not? You like content, right? You like going. You, you like the clout, right? That go ahead. That that could be another one. Granny, you get your ass whooped or not? Like you never know. That would have been the first time you put on some boxing glove. What if you would have knocked buddy out, bro? Now we would never know. Listen, hold on, hold on. I can have you removed right you now. Can catch Do you want to go? I know. You want to go? Uh, here comes the entitlement. Here comes the entitlement. That's the I don't care. I can have you go right now. You want to go? I can have you escorted out of here. You don't have to. Listen, if you're going to stay on my podcast, on my platform, you got to show me respect. Even though I don't show you guys respect, you got to show me respect. Wait outside. Hey, listen, my son, listen to me. If you have me removed, like, I'm gonna leave out this bitch like a man. That's, that's cool. what I'm gonna do. Right. Or you that can sit here and talk me. like a man. You got the police in here. How is it a police? That ain't gonna move me. It's cool. I'm not talking about I'm not like a boxer. Talk. I've exactly. made that extremely so clear. Oh my God. Stop talking. I'm a podcaster. Why the f would I stop talking? Stop talking. That's your problem. Why would I stop talking when I'm a podcaster? All you gonna do is hit the table. Talk as soon as I get on the podcast. Oh, I can handle my own business as well. Don't. No, oh, come on, dog. You see, this is shit I be talking about, man. I can handle my own business. Can you? You literally just sat here and the man offered you to go handle the business outside. You see the security hovering around in the back. Now it's, I can handle my own business. What, you trying to talk tough now? To the people? <laughs> 
you know what Adam should do? Adam, what Adam should have done? Like, you know what? Alright, yeah, yeah, come on. We'll go, we'll, we'll go throw this outside. Like, we'll go throw. <laughs> listen, listen, don't look at me funny. Don't look at me wrong. Alright, Adam's already a snaky ass nigga, so I ain't doing no wrong. But if you telling me. You telling me, like, just imagine this nigga if Adam would have been like, you know, all right, fuck it, let's go, let's go. We'll go box outside, right? And Adam, as soon as they all walking outside, Adam turn around and tell to you, the kid, listen, the minute I go down, I need both of y'all to. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> like, just imagine, either, 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 listen, he could do that, right? He could be like, listen, we'll go outside and tell his security, listen, as soon as, listen, as soon as I look like I'm about to go down, or he about to, listen, I need y'all to jump in. Or he could be some childish shit. Lead the way, yeah. Come on, right? Have everybody go outside and turn around and lock the door. Man, go home. People out there, because you know this is making you look like a punk. Because deep down inside, you keep saying, I am a podcaster. That's your way out. Like, you really trying this shit. You teetering on the line of getting your ass beat, bro. You cannot cop this many pleas and then go, I can handle my own. Obviously, you cannot. Because you're not even ready to go outside. So stop talking like you ready to go outside. It's that simple. Don't Come worry. on. Yeah. I don't handle it by doing boxing matches with cavemen who want to act man. tough cave instead man. of doing a podcast. Now he race. That nigga say caveman from right there. I already knew he up. He Adam looked at him and said, hell no, nah, nigga. You about twice in my size. Hell no, bro. What do I look like? I'm not a boxer. Now it's racist. Oh, now you're yeah. here to play the <laughs> oh, bad, bro. You racist, man. I'm describing your brain. You weird. Not your race. You weird. I'm going to ask you to leave. <laughs> you need to leave. That's cool. I'll leave. <laughs> At Harbor Freight, we're committed to keeping our quality high and our prices low. We've managed to cut out the middleman. But I'm telling you, you a bitch. I don't care. Yeah, yo, that's a handsome guy. Oh, they edit. You just a yo, you just a handsome guy. That's the equivalent of him calling you just. At first, I was like, well, he called him handsome. And then I thought about it, like, wait, wait. That's just him calling you the B word, bro. That's just him calling you out your name. They added that. They edited that. Damn, Adam. I'm going to let y'all watch and read his lips. Pause. Like, you'll see what he says. Come on, sure. I'm going to get up no, out of here. Don't no, touch no, me, though. No, no, yeah, you're going to have to go. That's a handsome guy. You're going to have to go. It looks to me, oh. to me, it looks like he's saying PDF. You saying you a PDF. Oh. That's what it oh. looks like to me. Allegedly. I know, I know. I ain't know. I ain't know. He, hey, he delete this out. Yeah, he actually did. <laughs> Yo, he actually did. <laughs> he edited the fuck out of this shit. Because he ain't want y'all to hear that one. He, he was saying something yeah, else, and something we, else. we used AI something. to change his voice to say the something else. Don't. I might as well do him a favor, and instead of making it just sound all weird with a bunch of empty blank space in it, I'm going to change it into something else that I... Ain't that Trap Ralph Freddy in the back? I know that he agrees with, which would be me being handsome. <laughs> I you're going to have to go. Out the interview. You're going to have to go. Be handsome guy. Hey, me being <laughs> The only reason why I'm stuck on this part right here, right? Because I'm just basically, I I don't know this guy right here. But I seen a few videos, like, maybe a couple of days ago, right? And, like, he made some appearance on Adam podcast, right? Not bad. Don't know who, don't know who the other dude is. If that's Trap Ross Freddy, I ain't really finna say nothing about Trap Ross Freddy. <clears throat> Trap Ross, is it Freddy or Trap Ross? If I'm mistake, if I'm, if I got your name... Messed up, my bad. But, in my opinion, just from his little clips of, like, interviews that I've seen, 
And this could just be like, hey, you know what? This man is paying big bucks. He lives in that nigga put in like a stack in my pocket. Who? He want to be sweet. I'm let him be sweet. But just his character alone, from what I've seen on certain uh, interviews, I feel like he would have told Adam, like, bro, you sweet for not, for not, what y'all be saying, squabbling the man? In my opinion. But just like, he goes on about, like, everybody's in the background laughing and, like, Ain't no way in hell you got, you don't have one person in the group talking about, I don't know, bro, bro, you talking all that, all that reckless to me, I ain't gonna lie, I would've smacked them. But everybody around you did like, you know, you, oh. Handsome. I you're bet you need to leave this out the interview. You're going to have to go. You're a handsome guy. Capable of acting Shut like a up. handsome guy. Bless up. You I can't act like a handsome guy. I Behave like a grown up. That. Handsome oh, shit. Behave like no, a grown up. Security. 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 Yes. Come on. Get the fuck out. Touch you. Get out of here. You scared. You're fired. Who's a handsome guy? This hiding behind security shit so lame, bro. Like, and in his mind, I know he looking at this and he telling himself, you got a viral one. We're going viral, guys. We're back in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome guy. Come on, Handsome guy. Yo, get the you got a soft ass security. We're not, oh, okay. oh, my son. That's crazy. Come He's on. soft as hell. Get out of here. Uh, I'm a, we hey, gonna run the fight. <laughs> That, that security fell from time to break and he said it all you and your English security ass sweet. He 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 sweet this and the third right now he trying to grab buddy like come on bro. Now he gonna fade security. Yo, he said we could run the fade. <laughs> Why Adam jumping no, like that? No. Adam ain't gonna do man, come on, dog. Adam ain't gonna do nothing. But he go man, he go my issue, dog. These your man's you came with, dog, and Y'all gotta stand on business with your homie. Your homie about to pop off some shit. Y'all should. I ain't even gonna lie. I was just thinking that in my head, bro. No cap, right? I was thinking to myself. I'm like, okay, because right now the only person right, because my buddy over there, so he gonna have to move by all all three feet just to get to whoever. But <clears throat> buddy over here, right? Buddy over here. Now I was thinking to myself. I'm like, wait a minute. Adam got up. This dude got up. Why the hell are you still sitting now? Why are you big ass still in the corner? You feel me? Like, even though the other dude is going back and forth with security or whatever the case is, but the minute this nigga get up, I'm not sure what his intention is. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm, <laughs> what you doing, bro? Where you going? Nah, don't do that. Don't, nah, nah, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> not be sitting in them chairs, dog. I'm just keeping it on it, dog. Y'all should not be sitting in them chairs, dog. Y'all supposed to be up with your dog. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, if it was me right now, I feel some type of way. <laughs> like, how Remo and Adam out of their chairs before y'all out of y'all chairs? Like, they armed security out there. He said, put the gun down, run the face, man. Because, yeah, I got security, but I'm gonna be real with you. The security is there to protect you. Not to protect me. Because I'm not doing the fist fight. Oh, thing. my God. Oh, my God. Unless I listen, unless I pause it too early. This nigga said the security is not there to protect me. He is there to protect you guys from what I can do to you guys. Do y'all know that I'm a 10 times martial arts? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a four time black belt. If, like, y'all don't know that, do y'all? Y'all don't know that? Like, now I can be sitting right next to you and hit you with a quick. You ain't living. Gone, dead, out. That's basically what he just said. I'm gonna send you to go do a show with Tupac. So Ruger, don't play with me. So oh, damn. <laughs> Wait, I wanna. Would you pick back up? Let's talk about what just happened. Yeah, that 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 went a little sideways there for a moment. And y'all continue the interview, man. Listen, man. All right, listen, man. Look. <sighs> Look, man, Adam face is way overdue for a punch, dog. And honestly, them boys continuing the interview, I don't know how. I, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm about to say, hold up, hold up. Your man is not in the building? What, what, what? So you telling me your man outside hot because he want to get to Adam, but he can't get to Adam. But y'all going to sit there and still talk to him? Oh, if we roll together. <laughs> Feel about that dog i feel like that's a little bit that's a little on the corny side dog i ain't gonna front they should not have continued that interview y'all should have been out there with your homie y'all should have rode out with your dog like yep. don't continue this interview after 
He done tried your dog, man. Your dog had to go outside after he did all that caveman shit. It get out. Laugh. Come on, for real, dog. You can't continue to interview, dog. Walk out with your dog. Christ, say that you are in this situation and you're there with your two artists. Yeah. Are they allowed to stay after you get kicked out? No, oh, you the back they go. They what were they doing? They, the they, they, they wanted to finish the interview. We did, like, we did like another 45 minutes, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What? We're putting our foot down to keep our feet up, like way up with Lazy Boy. We did lots of adulting today. Like the interview ain't that serious. Y'all in the whole group, dog. Like he gonna be looking at y'all a little bit sideways because he came there and stood on what he wanted to stand on. And Adam was disrespectful, dog, because you hiding behind your security and that table, dog. You're right here in front of me right now. Because I, I don't think you're doing anything, period. Because yeah, I got security, but I'm gonna be real with you. The security is there to protect you, not to protect me. Because I'm not doing the fist fight thing. Off the back, I'm gonna send you to go do a show with Tupac. So Ruger, don't okay, my bad. Okay, well I did. Say, okay, I guess he's about to say Ruger. So basically, what Adam is saying to whoever they, you know, he only got it on him. So. I'm not finna throw hands on you. I'm just finna send you to a biggie concert. That's all. And which I honestly think that's kind of fucked up because you know what you're doing. And let me get at y'all. Hold up. Don't play with me. You off the back of I, let, I let him off easy. I let him walk his ass out of there. The man over on the other side of the table and got a he got a table in between him, a security guard and Remo. You say you can handle your own, but you ain't standing on business. But listen, what do we expect out of Adam, bro? And a lot of these dudes, they do this, man. They talk and then they hide, you know. And I get it, man. Like who want to fight on their podcast, you know? But at the I'm gonna catch on the next one, man. Y'all hit that subscribe and follow your boy on Twitch.